Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. You're getting this video in real time. It's about 7.15 a.m. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of my travel plans, travel updates, and also about spilling the beans to some family about you wanting to travel long term, how they're going to take it, how you're going to deal with it, how I dealt with it. So anyway, before we dive into that, I have a little bit of footage from Daddy Daughter Day that I filmed the other time I seen her, like last week. And we were hoping to add to that Daddy Daughter Day video yesterday on her visit, but yesterday's visit was chaos. She had dance and then a thing with her friends at the end of the visit. It was just scatterbrained all day, so we didn't get a chance to make a full-blown me and Danica video like we were planning. But uh, So anyway, I want to share that footage with you guys, and then we'll come back and we'll dive into travel and my situation I had. I shouldn't say situation. Yeah, just watch the Daddy Daughter Day stuff. Be right back. See this face? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is my daughter. If you haven't met her, her name is Danica. And uh, yeah, we're going to go get her ears pierced today. Up here. Like right in the far top corner. Are you sure about this? Yeah. You realize <laughs> we're going into a tattoo studio and this is happening like in like 30 minutes from now. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. You wanted to get it done. Woo! I'm excited. I'm scared. Why? At least it's not like my nose. I'll never pierce my nose. <laughs> Can you imagine how many tears would roll down your face getting your nose going boom? Like, ah! I'd freak out. I would always be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> not really. You know that's like awkward. It looks good though, I'm sure. <laughs> You're just sure you can't see. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> All right, here we go. How was it? Mm, painful. <laughs> was it really that painful? No. All right, let's see it. Let's see this thing. Ooh, look at that. Can't see the red on it though. Hold on. Uh, not pretty. <laughs> it's all zoomed in. It looks gross. <laughs> Is it still zoomed in? <laughs> I zoomed right in on it. You could just you could see like the hair follicles and all. <laughs> it was it was it looked really nice. It was very pretty. How's it feel? It hurts. Still? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you wanna cry? No. Alright. I was zoomed right in on your face too. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Did you survive it? Mm -hmm. Would you do it again? Not for a long time. <laughs> From the chair doctor. <laughs> you ate all of it? You said you didn't want it anymore, so I eat the rest of yours too. I eat mine, then I eat yours. Where are you going? <laughs> <She's>... There's somebody behind you, by the way. <laughs> so, your dad living in bed is like normal, right? Not really. 
Yeah. But is it is it any different than me living in my apartment though for you? No. So you you tell your friends that I live in a van. No. Some of them. Don't. How many of your friends watch my channel? Four. That's a, that's a fair amount of friends. Yeah. And they don't care that I live in a van. Nope. They call me a weird. Sometimes. <laughs> Do you, th you think I'm weird? Yeah. That visit was super freaking fun. That one of the, that's one of those visits that I will never forget. The whole moment was just ingrained. Her squeezing my hand when she was getting it done. Just super freaking cool. And the shock value of doing it the way we did it, <clears throat> I think will sit for a lifetime. Um, we were just sitting there having a conversation. She's like, I'm thinking about piercing here and then here sometime. Maybe when I get older here. And dad's like... Let's go do that right now. She was just oh, so freaking cool. Her mom was super rad with it. So yeah, she was so proud of her when I seen her yesterday of her little ear. Expensive things though. Her piercing was cheap, but it was the jewel and stuff she had that was like twice the cost of her piercing. It was insane. But anyway, <clears throat> let's talk to you guys about some travel plans that I have coming up. <clears throat> I'm going to be leaving in a few weeks, probably the first week of November. We're going to be going to Vancouver Island again. I know we've been there before. We've been on some short little trips over there, like from Victoria to Nanaimo, then back. And then we went, the, the first time we went, uh, beginning of last year, was uh, to Fino and then to Nanaimo and back. This time we're going to be spending some time on the island. We're going to go explore the island from pretty much one tip to the far tip. And then we're going to catch the ferry all the ferries to the little islands that surround it. We're truly just going to full-blown explore Vancouver Island on this trip. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, the last time we took off, we were gone for about three, three and a half weeks. And this one, we're going to be gone a little longer. And there's a reason why I've been doing these trips. Well, because I want to do them. But also because I've been trying to ease... He's traveling away from my daughter Danica a little bit. I figured if I do three weeks here, spend lots of time with her for a month, and then go away for another six weeks, it'll ease her into when I'm ready to leave to go on a huge trip because a huge trip is coming. So yesterday I sat Danica down and I just dropped the bomb because I don't know how to sugarcoat things i think sugarcoating things is bull crap you just gotta spit out the freaking truth and deal with whatever comes back from it because if it's the truth then you just got to get it out if you if you turn your truth into something that somebody else wants to hear because it's easier to hear i think you fail i think you fail because that other person doesn't truly understand what's happening with this truth so me and Danica were sitting down having ice cream and I just said, hey, I'm like, I got some something I want to say. So I just spit at the freak out. And uh, the reaction that came back was a little bit harder to take than I expected. Um, it sparked a major emotion. And I, you've, you don't want to see those look, that look on your face from a daughter because it's not like... It's not like you're being a jerk dad and you did something stupid and she's mad at you. No, you sparked a real emotion. And it was like, huh, <laughs> I don't like this feeling. And um, so anyway, I told Danica that I'm planning on doing a huge cross Canada adventure, a huge trip. And I'm like, I don't know when it's coming, but I really would like to go do it now. But I think I might do it next year. I'm not really sure what's going on yet. And she was like, you're going to miss so much. And then it killed me. She's like, my 13th birthday's coming. And I mean, I get it. I understand the instant spark of emotion. But that's why I told her right away. I told her right away because if you can get this stuff out there now, then she has it. She has that thought to work with. So she knows that this is happening in my life at some point. So she's got some time to, to kind of understand it, I guess. You know, I think when you drop the bomb like that on somebody who's a real attachment to you, like your, like your family or, or like for me, the only person I have is my daughter. And so now she's got some time to work it out. So I'm going to stay here for this summer because it's her 13th birthday. And if I miss that, she'll freaking kill me because she's a teenager starting <laughs> starting this summer. So I'll definitely be here for that trip, which I'm uh, sorry for, um, for that for sure. And um, I talked to her about it. I'm like, look, if I do say happen to leave this year, um, 
I said, I said, when you're done school, I can fly you to wherever I am. You can spend a month or so with me and then I'll fly you back so you can go back to school. And I think as we work through little details like this, it'll make the whole leaving thing a little easier. But you can't talk about those things with people when an emotion like that is attached to it. So I left that situation be the way it is and we'll let her work through whatever she needs to work through. Because if you talk about things like that when there's an emotion like that attached to it, you're gonna fail. It's gonna be horrible, it's not gonna end well. So it's nice to get that, to get that truth out. It felt good to me to finally spit that truth out. Now she's got it. And we had a good visit the rest of the day. There was lots of little lovey-dovey stuff and you know, dad saying I love you, her saying gross, <laughs> you know, all those things. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get comfortable in here. Um, so yeah, anyway, I broke that news to her, but I don't think I'm gonna be leaving on a cross Canada trip this year. As much as I really wanted to, um, I might ride out one more wedding season at the golf club mainly for financial reasons because if I do one more summer at the golf club this year, it gives me some time to set them up with the ease of me putting other DJs in there instead of me, allowing me to make money while I travel and still run a business there, right? Which is my plan. Right now they don't let me bring other DJs in because they like me and me only, but if they know I'm gonna leave, and still know that I'm attached to the business, I might be able to make it fly and take this year to bring in a few DJs to show them that we can handle this. So I might ride out one more wedding season here because this could set me up really well for the future. Um, plus, if I do one more wedding season here, I will put a nice fat stack in the bank. Like by the, if, I, if we have a good wedding year, I, that could put, probably put another 15,000 in my bank that would be a hell of a good cushion because right now I don't have a cushion. Right now I got money that I'm saving to buy a laptop with, which would have been money I've been saving for, to put a new engine in my van if it ever blows up. So I have no, um, I have no cushion. Well, I have 1500 bucks right now. But uh, anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Um, so yeah, uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm really uncomfortable here. I'm trying to my phone's propped in the middle of my van and I'm trying to sit, trying to stand. The lighting is poor back there, so I can't go sit on my bed. So that's my plans. Um, I really want to travel Canada before I travel the US. For me, because this is my home country, this is where I've been. Every other YouTuber out there travels the US. They show the US all the time. But I want to be the, the van life guy that just explores Canada. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on my plans. Um, you never know, I might be leaving across Canada at the, end of the, at the end of winter, I don't know. But as of right now, it will probably be next year unless magic happens with the golf club and I can leave this year. <sighs> but yeah, telling, telling the daughter was <laughs> not easy. But I think when the time comes and I get to travel, because her and I don't see each other a lot while I'm here anyway. Her and I only see each other twice per month because her dance schedule is insanity. It's hard to get time with her. Like even on my visit yesterday and my last visit, she had like two hours of dance right in the middle of our visit. Then yesterday she had a birthday party with friends that she doesn't get to see at the end of our visit. She's a busy kid, super busy. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with some disco at the end here. We're gonna go because I don't know what time it is. The sun's coming out. And uh, we have to go meet up with Duly Noted, one of our subscribers from Victoria that is here in Vancouver. He just pulled in last night off the ferry last night, so we're going to go hang out with him today. And if this guy would just wake up. Hey, homie. You got to wake up and make a movie. He <laughs> stops breathing for a second. <laughs> hey, wake up, homeboy. No video is a video without you. Hey, buddy. More. Wake up. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Wake up, homie. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, buddy, wake up. Whoa! <laughs> he moved. All right, guys, thanks for watching my travel update video. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of daddy-daughter day. 
We gotta edit this video and get it out to you guys because I got things to do. Peace out, guys. Stay weird. Adios.